it just came from every direction and just completely overwhelmed and everything burnt around us. It was like it just a, even the dirt was almost burning. All the animals were in harmony with each other. Uh, they, they would basically graze our pastures, which kept the fire danger down. And uh, that, that is what helped me to, to survive too, is the donkeys had eaten all the grass around our pond areas. One of the areas that was hit hardest by the fire was along Los Alamos Road, and that's where Dan lived with his four free-roaming donkeys. He lost his house, he lost everything he worked for for 30 years, and we knew we had to help him. We had to either bring him closure or provide hope that they were still alive. We've lost millions of dollars worth of stuff here, but the life seven, of the donkeys seven. is what we're focusing on now and, and it just goes to show how valuable life is it's not about money and materialism it's about things that are still possibly alive and let's try to save them they're free range on our on our 70 acre property um and they find their own pastures at night generally and they come back in the morning. Uh, we, we call them around eight o'clock every morning and with our donkey call, which is uh, kind of a ooh, ooh. And when I did that call, the donkey call, I heard the donkey calling back, which they usually do. And um, so we knew the area where the donkey was at that point. He found us, so we, I mean, that's part of his herd, and he felt very relieved, and so did we, to reunite with him again. <laughs> we made it. Right. We've really appreciated the organizations and people that have offered help and pastors and such love for animals. We're not just strong, we're Sonoma County strong. We come back and we rebuild and we help each other. And so that's what Mango did for us, is that he gave us hope to keep going.